Grade 6 math number 1.5, work backwards to solve problems. It's a problem solving video. We've done a lot of these, so I hope you choose a strategy. In this one we're going to work backwards, but our other choices would have been to be solve a simpler problem, choose an operation, use a model, and no, Gigi Hadid can't help, use a formula, or draw a diagram. Okay? So we're going to work backwards. Because sometimes working backwards helps us. Emma's mother gave her a big party for her birthday. Many people came at 1 p.m., right when they were supposed to. Right before they served the cake, two groups of three arrived late. After the cake, four people left. By the time she decided to open her gifts, 20 people were there. So how many people came to her party at 1 p.m.? Wow, that's a lot of information, isn't it? All right, so we're going to take a step back and we're going to look at it. At the end of the party, there were 20 people. So what do we need to find? We need to find the amount that came to the party on time at 1 p.m. What do we need to find it? What information do we need? Well, that there were 20 still there, that six arrived late, and four left. See, two groups of three, that's the six. How are we going to use it? We're going to work backwards, okay? So there were 20 people at the end of the party, four people left right before that. So, because four people left, we need to add that four onto the 24. Because they were there and then they left and then there were 20. So that means 20 plus four. Well, two groups of three arrived late, so those six people didn't show up on time, did they? So we can't count them with the amount of people that were there at 1 p.m. So we need to take them away from the total. See, they're still there. They're still at the party. They just arrived late, and we're trying to figure out who arrived on time. So even though they're still part of this 20, we need to get rid of them and get them out of there. So two groups of three arrived late, so we subtract them because they were late. So we have 20 plus 4 minus the 3 times 2. So now we're going to do in parentheses first. We've got 20 plus 4 minus 6. We add and we get 24. We subtract the 6. So 18 came to the party on time at 1 p.m. See how we did that? So we started with the 20 and then we started working backwards because people left. We had to add them because that means they were at the party. And then the people that were late, we had to take them off because they weren't on time and we're trying to figure out who was on time. See? So working backwards can help. Here's an easier one. Tala got her paycheck, and she paid $50 for her electric bill, $40 for her, $45 for her phone bill, and bought three boxes of Girl Scout cookies for $4 each. She has $633 left of her paycheck. So how much was her paycheck? Well, all we have to do is total up all the money she spent and add it to what she's got left, right? So we added what she's got left and the money she spent, three boxes of Girl Scout cookies, for $4 each is $12. When we added it all up, it came to $740, and that was her paycheck. See? That wasn't hard, was it? Now, this one is a little bit stranger, and I even put draw a diagram because I thought that would help. This is not necessarily working backwards. I noticed this in the book, and I thought I'd better do this to help you out. There are 32 cookies on a plate. Okay, and I don't, I just drew cookies, so I don't even know if there's 32 there. There are two more chocolate cookies than oatmeal cookies. So how many chocolate cookies are there? All right, so there's 32 in all, and there's two more chocolate ones than oatmeal ones. So we know there's two types, chocolate and oatmeal. So if we divided the 32 in half, we'd have 16 chocolate and 16 oatmeal. But there's two more chocolate than oatmeal. So here's what we do. We take the 32 and the two more chocolates and we add them together. And we get 34. Then we divide it by 2. I know this sounds like crazy math to some people, but this works. The 34 divided by 2 becomes 17, and that's how many chocolate ones there are. See? And if you take 32 cookies and split it into two piles, you can see that there would be 17 and 15, because there's 15 oatmeal ones and 17 chocolate, that would get you the 32. Now you could draw pictures to split them up. 
You could have even said, okay, 16 and 16. There's 16 oatmeal and 16 chocolate, and I'm going to take, you know, some away from the from the oatmeal and give it to the chocolate to try to make it so that there's two more than the other group. But it's easier to just add however many more to the original amount and then just divide it by how many types there are. There were two types of cookies, chocolate and oatmeal, oatmeal so that's why we divided it by two. See? But that works. I know that's in the book. Something about a soccer team. So now you know what to do. You add them together and then divide it by how many different types there are. So that's working back backwards to solve problems. And don't feel that you have to be stuck with that. If you start to work backwards and you have trouble, draw a picture too. Or use a model or a formula while you're working backwards. Draw a diagram while you're working backwards. You can combine them. Okay? I hope that helps. See you next video. Bye.